Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. Sorry to keep bombarding you with roll rate videos, but there's a lot of data to collect and this is the last one, I promise. So, for the fast jets, which is the ones that you can see in front of you, transonic upwards, uh, we've already done sustained roll rate aileron only, uh, where we do two or three rolls and get the average degrees per second. We've also done singular snap roll rate, so that is aileron plus rudder plus elevator. And now, all we've got left to do is... Um, enhanced sustained rolls, so that is sustained rolls, so two or three rolls, whatever the aircraft can do in the altitude, and get the average degrees per second. And we're looking at aileron and rudder, so no elevator for this, and we should get their max roll rates. So we'll just plow our way through, it's going to be very easy to do. We're going to do it at 450 knots, all at the same speed, all at the same altitude within you know a couple of knots to keep everything fair. The timing, the way of timing it is very easy and really accurate, so I'm happy with that. Standard parameters, uh, 20 degrees Celsius at sea level, 29.92 inches mercury Q and H. Each aircraft has 10% gas and fuel burn is turned off. So let's jump in our Vigan and see how we get on. Okay, we're just about there. We'll have to elevate a little bit just to make sure we get enough time for the roll. Otherwise, we're ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Felt really good, to be honest. <laughs> There's not much of a roll already, the vegan, but they felt really good. Uh, next, carrier. I do expect this to be pretty good. Let's see how we get on. Let me just get near enough. Three, two, one, go. Beautiful. Loop. Let's go get the next one. Okay, F14. I think we should try this one with wings forward and wing wings back, just to give you a decent, um, you know, idea of the difference so i just need to concentrate for a minute wings are forward now okay so let's do wings forward first three two one pretty crappy with wings forward as expected let's try wings back i'm just trying to remember in my brain how i do this now so what is it like that isn't it Get the old hydraulic pumps going. There they go. Whee! So the pressure's changing. Feels weird. Just going to get back down into test parameters. Okay, I think that'll do. And three, two, one. Feels a bit crappy still, to be honest, even with wings back. Interesting. I guess it's more about authority than it is about resistance, so it's quite interesting. Anyway, next. F-15, nice and easy. Let's check the parameters. It's not quite there yet. Three, two, one, go. Ridiculously good. So much authority. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Uh, next, expecting good things for this. I'm aware that there is a, um, a bypass for this, uh, a delimiter, but I'm going to leave it off simply because that's what I did on the other test. And I don't think it would be fair to, uh, to take the delimiter off. Take the limiter off. Uh, right, got to concentrate for a minute. Near enough. Three, two, one. One, go. Recall, next, okay. Three, two, one, go. Wow, didn't mean to do that. Very good, next, okay. Three, two, one, go. Next, okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh my goodness, what was that? Oh, ho, ho. well, that's a new thing. Too much roll weight kills the Mirage. Beast from the east, let's see if I can get this under, under control. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it doesn't like it for some reason, don't know why. Oh well. Next, three, two, one, go. Pretty good. Next, make 21, this should be fun as ever. Three, two, one, go. Amazing as ever. Next, 227, plenty of authority here. See how we get on. 
Three, two, one, go. Pretty impressive. Next. 33. Should be a bit slower. Three, two, one, go. And last but not least. Fuel, 1500. With a maker. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Doesn't like it. Make 29 can't handle rudder. That was no elevation, was it? No, it's just rudder and an aileron. Hmm. Well, there you go. Let's go look at some data. Okay, here we have the final data. And I've done, what, five videos on this now. Various aircraft roll rates we're talking about. And the data I've presented to you has been accurate but uh, a bit scrappy so this is it all tidied up in its final incarnation so you can use this as the final video if you like so that lot is fast jets that lot is warbirds it's fast jets a it leads to aileron only we did 300 knots ktas and 600 knot ktas this is a snap roll so it's aileron uh, rudder and elevator and this is what we've done here max official max uh, aileron and rudder but no elevator uh, now note I did these at 300 and 600. I should have done that at 300 and 600 and I should have done that at 300 and 600 to match. But to be honest, I'm running out of patience with doing these videos. So I figured just a neutral 450 would be okay for each. So that and that are not directly comparable with that and that per se in terms of speed. Uh, these two were sustained. That was sustained. This is singular because this is a you know, snap turn with elevator. So for today's data, what we've got is the best was the F-15C, which is always really good. You know, up the second here at 600 knots, aileron only, second here, uh, 300 knots, uh, and a snap row, it's fifth. Um, so it's just a king pretty much of rolling generally with the Mirage, maybe the MiG-21 as well. Right up there. Why? I don't know. Big wingspan, big heavy plane, lots of inertia. I guess it's all about the control th authority in the big, you know, stabilators at the back, the big rear surfaces uh, doing most of the, the torque in the roll. And the DCS flight model allowing it to do so. It's a low definition model at the end of the day. That may have something to do with it. It may not. It may not. So uh, let me know what you think. Next was the Mirage 2000. I was a bit disappointed with this because we only got up to 252, which is a lot, degrees per second, but the wing snapped off. Uh, now, the strange thing about that is if we ramp it up to 600 knots with aileron only, we can get 275 uh, sustained over nine rolls without the wing snapping off. So there's more roll rate we can get at higher speed without the wing snapping off. I can't work out what it is. It's something to do with adding rudder. It must Adding the rudder must do something to upset the flight model a bit. Again, that's a bit out of my pay grade. I don't know why that would be, but that's interesting. So if you're in a Mirage 2000, don't use rudder to turn a roll. Not you'd ever need to because it's already the best <laughs> at any speed, as you can see here. So there you go. MiG-21, we knew it was going to be high. It's just set up for rolling. It's a pencil with tiny little wings at the end of the day. You've got no wingspan. You've got no roll resistance. So it was always going to be good. Um... With rudder, it's even better. 251, it was 247 here. It was... It was crap at low speed, but we're kind of expecting it to be crap at low speed. Uh, so that's that. SG-27, really good. Uh, shouldn't be able to turn in terms of its kinetics. You know, it's big, it's heavy, it's inertial. It's got a big wingspan, lots of rolling resistance. But it's got amazing authority with the rear surfaces being massive and being the main turning surfaces or rolling surfaces. So 225 degrees per second, the F5, always good. And remember, we have the limiter on on all of those tests. Uh, you can delimit it to make it even go in faster, but for whatever reason, we've left the limiter on. 223, um, it's always above average here. It's there, and on the slow one, bop, 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 bop. I was down here on the slow one, so it's quite actually quite shit on the slow one. Possibly for the same reasons as the MiG-21, I don't know. Let me know what you think. AV-8B, always uh, relatively good. Again, stubby wings, decent ailerons, and um, not a huge amount of resistance. Uh, that's 221 degrees per second. MiG-19P is always pretty good in roll. 217 degrees per second. SU-33 is always worse than the SU-27 for reasons that you guys keep telling me, but I can't remember what it is. So let me know uh, why you think that is down at 204 degrees per second. 
F-18C is a pretty shit roller, to be honest. Uh, where are we here? Uh, just down there, 300 knots. It's down there at 600 knots. Snap rolls crap down here. It's just a crap roller, generally, compared to the big boys. 197 degrees per second, F-86. Um, is there at 183. Uh, pretty much as expected. Um, it's pretty good, really, actually. HS-37, I always think should be a good roller, but just never is, never is for some reason. Terrible down there. Um, below average there. Horrendous when you add some pitch. And um, there you go. Uh, pretty bad, even with uh, just had a run and rudder. So, don't know. Let me know what you think. I don't know why it's bad, it just is. Uh, it's not a fighter at the end of it. It's the only one here that's not a fighter, isn't it? So, I guess you could argue that. F-14B, always giving problems. Um, this one, E, is wings back. Uh, Aileron and rudder, 450k task. We've got 15A. It's just a crap roller, which I don't understand because it's got whopping. It must have the biggest rear surfaces here. So it should have the best authority. But, um, don't know. No idea. Even with wings back, there shouldn't be a massive amount of resistance. It's heavy, obviously. But you compare that to a flanker. And you think a wings back 14 should be better, have better kinetics than a flanker. So... I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. It doesn't I'm not really convinced by it though. MiG-29 really struggled. Um, they just messed up. It couldn't do an aileron plus rudder. Uh, something to do with this aeroplane. Um, absolutely no no idea why. If it had a really complex flight model, it would probably break its wings off or something. It felt so unhappy. Uh, terrible down here on the snap roll. It was horrendous. Terrible here in roll rate here. And terrible here in roll rate. It's just an awful roller. Even worse than the F-18 and the Tomcat. That doesn't roll. F-14B with wings forwards, even worse for obvious reasons. And the poor old MiG-15 uh, is terrible. It just doesn't have the ability to aileron. And it's down at the bottom here and down at the bottom here. And strangely, did quite well if you add elevator and a snap roll. Remember, this is not sustained turn rate. Right? This is a single snap roll. It's completely different to this, this, and this. Uh, so that's interesting. The only other thing I want to look at is the Tom, where the Tomcat did elsewhere. Tomcat here with a snap roll. Just couldn't even do it. Can't do a snap roll. You just... It seizes up and refuses to fly. Um, F-14B here. Below average for 600 knots with wings back. Aileron only. Pretty crap, to be honest. And here, a terrible. Second to worst. Almost as bad as a MiG-15 with aileron only. It's just F-14 is a terrible, terrible roller. Um, along with the MiG-29 and the MiG-15. And the, big, the good ones, F-15, Mirage, MiG-21, Flanker. Right, that concludes our looking at the roll rates. I've covered everything I can possibly think of. Technically, I could do warbirds with just aileron and rudder, but I don't. I think I'm done now, to be honest. I think I'm spent. But I hope you enjoyed the series. I hope you learned lots from it. And please comment and uh, let me know what you think. Bye.